Right. Uh, and then our final category was most creative. And we had two different, uh, we tied. There was a tie for this one because we could not decide. And there are two actually fairly different entries, but we wanted to basically recognize both of them. So the first one is Team Serendipity. Is anyone from Team Serendipity? Okay. Yes. All right. You guys want to talk about your entry? Sure. So this is Serendipity, which is Chicago's premier Diddy-based dating website. <laughs> so we took the ridership data, and a lot of people were talking about the gender imbalance, and we wanted to make something sort of useful and kind of funny. Um, it's sort of tongue-in-cheek to talk about that. So Serendipity, you can go to and decide if you're looking for Diddy dames or Diddy dudes and what neighborhood. <laughs> And when you go to the map, it populates, you know, the stations and how many connections you could possibly meet. Like, hey, this station has 30 dames. Um, the best hour to go for a ride to meet one of them could be about 6 p.m. and their average age. <laughs> and if you, you know, have fun and explore, um, and the little gal has some tongue-in-cheek content as well. But we thought a lot, too, about the practical uh, uses. It's a little buggy. Um, that splitting the data this way may be one of the things you talk about if it's like I'm a female writer and I want to ride with other females, I can find a location where there are a lot, like, a lot during the times so I feel a bit more comfortable or maybe even businesses in the area can start to see the makeup. If I'm here at Divi Station, these are the types of people that are going to be there. Um, so how could we better serve them? So, yeah. so did it show you which stations have a lot of Divi names or how does it work? Um, so, go ahead. Yeah, you. <laughs> 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 so if you really click one of the points, it would tell you the average age of the uh, Diddy or Dame, uh, or sorry, the, the dude or Dame that would be there, and the best time for a ride, which is like when it's most populated with your Dame or your Dude. Oh my gosh. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so the most time that there are either bikes being returned or taken out. By the gender. So you can just serendipitously yeah. show up. I try to get them to add another metric called the Meet Cute metric, which is in a movie with two characters meet. So it's like, if there are a lot of bikes, you want to go on a ride with somebody. If there's one bike, it's like, you have to actually talk to that bike. Okay? <laughs> right. Or find them. Or find them. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's our entry. Please don't, just don't use it for Jimmy Stocking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that many times. Everybody, when we pitched this idea, I was like, so stop it. I think every <laughs> work session we had, we'd reach a point where we'd be like, but guys, this is getting a little creepy. Yeah, there's some in Logan Square where it's like if you choose a particular hour of the day, it's like one lady and her age. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Okay. Uh, yeah. So please don't use it for that. It did cross our minds, but yeah. Maybe there's a way to like make a break so if it's yeah. anything below five, it doesn't yeah, show that time. Yeah. I don't know. A safety feature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's been um, a handful of stations that were like 95% women. Yeah. Which like flew in the face of everything else that's on the map. Where, where, so, where, where were they? <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you go to the Just Explore option, it'll just show you all the stations, and that information's a little bit different. So it'll tell you the station name, the best time to meet that majority of people, and it'll tell you the gender percentage breakdown, like 70% male, 30% female, you know, if you just want to see what's out there. So you're saying, of the trips in or out, in at a particular hour, which ones, if I'm looking for dames, it's going to show me all the stations based on the ones that have the most, the highest dame ratio? It'll show you all the stations in a given neighborhood in that hour and what the number of dames in their average age is. In that hour. So you yes. can kind of explore neighborhood and time, and then it'll show you the number of dames. Yes. Got it. So wait, did you notice any, like, or do it's do it's fine. Did you, like, did you notice any trends where, like, so you said there was, like, one station that was, like, overwhelmingly female and not male? Yeah. Do you, do you notice, like, did those, did those, like, trends, like, make geographic sense, or were they kind of just dispersed randomly? Like, I actually what was came the up as a question this morning when we were answering your um, questions, because we can't focus, and we were back in the data again. Um, we were wondering if it correlated with university campuses, but then we had to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, I it, it seems probable. We didn't get a chance to fully explore that, but... It was it's really weird. And also with age, like, are there younger stations, and how much younger? They range, because there's some old, like, some that stuck out to me seem more towards, like, uptown. There are ones where the average age is, like, 
Yeah, upper fifties, not over. And some like that tend to be in Logan Square. I, the average age overall seemed like people in their thirties, but there weren't any really that much younger. It's, it's actually really interesting watching you use it just now because I don't know if you've noticed this, but when I've introduced people to it, like everyone types in Logan Square, at least everyone from Logan Square. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something else that we could possibly explore how people are actually use this, but. Did you find any correlation between uh, male and female and time of day in the um, station? Like if, if at some time during the afternoon more guys yeah. are riding. A lot of the AM rides were female, which again was like kind of a, we didn't get a lot of chance to like sit down and do the trends right. to deal with so much data, but there were some. <laughs> It would be great to dive deeper into those details to see why and maybe, I don't know, like, I know in my mind, I'm like, oh, let's go find some people and, like, interview them and be like, why are you traveling early? I noticed you're a woman, so I'm going to say, you're flying over here, and you're going to over here. Have you two before? Uh, actually, no. I have the time. I hope not. Yeah, I have a bike. We all actually have bikes, but we were, like, really excited about the data release, so we, like, all wanted to just do that. Is the code for this open source? Um, it could be. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Our, the, our developer is going to be Alex, who's awesome. I'd like, love to do this. If you're interested, yeah, we can. Because all, all these ideas, right? You could keep going with this mm -hmm. to make the best dude finder, you know, possible. I'm not going to release it here. Yeah. It's, as long as there's, like, no stalking here. <laughs> Yeah, we did have the whole idea of like misconnection between the like, game and station. We thought about making this movie again. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah. 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 Yeah.